Hi guys, this is Serena Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 29 on SO exam P. So I'll pause the video real quick and try to palm yourself. Okay, assuming you already attended it, let's just dive right in. The number of days is distributed exponentially. An insurance company expects, expects that 30% of high risk drivers will be involved in an accident in the first 50 days of the calendar year. So from 0 to 50, they expect this to be equal to 0.3. As always, expect our exponential formulas is e to 1 over lambda, e to negative t over lambda. Or our CDF, CDF meaning going from 0 to some number here, that's, that formula is going to be 1 minus e to the negative t over lambda. So if it's going from 0 to 50, we know that this is equal to 1 minus e to the negative, our time is 50, 50 over lambda, and they expect this probability to be 30. Alright, so this is perfect. This is what we need to find lambda. So bringing this on the other side, this is going to be 0.7 is equal to e to the negative 50 over lambda. So then I can take the natural log of both sides, negative 50 over lambda. So then lambda is equal to negative 50 divided by natural log of 0.7. And the probability they ask you to find is what is the probability that in the first 80 days that they're someone a high risk driver is going to get in an accident? One over lambda e to negative t over lambda. Same thing here. We know that this is a CDF function, so we can use the R formula: one minus e to the negative 80 divided by lambda, where lambda is this thing that we found here. And what is this equal to? Question mark. Question mark. So lambda negative 50 divided by natural log. 0.7 is equal to 140.183 so this is 1 minus e to the negative 80 divided by 140.183 this is equal to 0.43486 which is our answer C if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them down below otherwise as always make sure you like subscribe and share bye